When I was a boy growing up in Corston, which is a village just outside Bath, I made models and I made models with airfix kits and then I made models which were scratch built and bits of card and bits of wood. And, and then in eight, 1988, um, I started it all in my attic and I'm now in year 19. I believe I'm still the only person to make models like this in the world. It's very much like writing your own signature, but no two people write their signature in the same way. And this is my signature, this is the way I make models, and, uh, and I enjoy doing that. When I first started, there was no market for this type of work, and I'm not sure uh, even now uh, there is no, since there's nobody else producing similar work, I seem to be in a market of one. It's a process which engages you very much with the building. You look at the building very closely, first of all, but then you have to model it. And if you like, if you take a photograph, you don't need to be that closely involved with it. But if you have to actually remake it, uh, then you get very close to an understanding of the face and indeed it brings you on occasion very close to the mind of the architect and you find that in the end the model has real power because it's, it's really a biography of the real building. Um, I just happen to be the channel and the, use the materials which convey that power. We just uh, uh, present it to the observer in a, in a a way that they can enjoy it, and on a scale they can enjoy it. One of the initial